As gross as it may sound, discussing the number two can be uncomfortable for many. Just because you can't see your insides doesn't mean they're healthy. Let's get honest for a second here. Do you feel backed up after eating bacon, hot dogs, or steak? Overeating red meat could be terrible for your colon. It can even make you undergo the dreaded colonoscopy at a young age. A backed up colon may be the start of hemorrhoids, polyps, and even cancer, but not if you eat the right foods. Wondering what to eat? Let's get into some colon-friendly foods. Today's video will explore foods you should eat to strengthen your colon. Does yogurt help? Is switching to plant-based foods the right option? We're discussing all that and more. Begin by grabbing a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast. Oatmeal is incredibly nutritious. It's a storehouse of fiber, calcium, vitamin D, and many micronutrients. Every time you scarf down some oatmeal, your digestive system gets a blast of roughage. The soluble fiber absorbs water and converts it into a jelly-like substance that bulks up your stool. It's something that helps to stay regular and clean the colon naturally. According to a 2020 study, the unique bioactive compounds act as a roadblock for colon cancer. Don't think of oatmeal as just a staple for breakfast. You can enjoy oatmeal cookies, granola, desserts, and savory snacks. Speaking of breakfast, start the day on the right foot with another option, whole grain bread. Regrettably, the tastiest breakfast options like white bread bagels, burger buns, croissants, or anything with puff pastry are not the best choice for your colon. Processed grains have become integral to cereals, pasta, snacks, stews, and even salads. Instead of white flour products, go for the whole grain foods. Grains like barley, brown rice, buckwheat, bulgur, and millet undergo minimal processing to keep the barn, germ, and endosperm intact to increase the fiber content. The American Institute of Cancer Research recommends that Americans eat at least 30 grams of fiber daily. Evidence has shown fiber to reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. Pick up whole grain crackers or popcorn for snacking. Swap the regular bread with whole grain tortillas to make delicious wraps. You'll also find whole grain cereals in the breakfast aisle with the label enriched on the packaging. The manufacturers put back some fiber and nutrients that get removed during the refining process, but not all the nutrients get added back, and the final product does not have an equal amount of nutrients as the original grain. Let's move on to the healthiest foods in the world, leafy greens. Eating green vegetables goes beyond iceberg lettuce as a burger topping. Green veggies are crammed with folate, iron, potassium, magnesium, fiber, vitamin E, C, and K. Try making a green salad with spinach, Swiss chard, arugula, artichokes, or kale. The year 2020 saw around 900,000 deaths due to colorectal cancer. According to a study, the members of the cruciferous family, especially broccoli and cabbage, can dramatically reduce the risk of colon cancer by nearly half. Imagine the lives that green veggies can save in the future. If eating raw cruciferous veggies isn't your thing, leave them out of your smoothies. Add parsley, Brussels sprouts, collard greens, bok choy, and watercress while fixing yourself a healthy plate. Also, remember the darker the leafy green, the better it is for your digestive system. Another food that cuts the risk of colon cancer is yogurt. Are you drinking fancy shakes and swigs of health tonics to soothe your colon? You might want to put them down for a cup of yogurt. This probiotic is more natural, cheaper, and an excellent option. Your gut bacteria need a little boost if you're frequently experiencing diarrhea or bloating. The colon contains a million good bacteria and yeast. Their primary function is to break down the food and keep things moving ahead. Yogurt helps to maintain a healthy balance between good and harmful bacteria to relieve digestive discomfort. The next food on our list is olive oil. Whether you're making salads, sauteing, or grilling vegetables, a dash of olive oil always enhances the taste. It can make your dish stand out as if it came right from the Mediterranean region. Avoid vegetable oils like soybean, canola, and corn oil. The fats from olive oil lubricate your digestive tract and makes it easier for your stool to pass by softening it. Try using extra virgin olive oil at its purest. According to a study, using olive oil in minute quantities, like even 4 milliliters, proved beneficial in patients suffering from kidney problems. Go ahead, give it a try. Moving along, want to know what garlic can do to your colon? Garlic is a superfood in the kitchen due to its numerous health benefits, but the typical garlic breath has tarnished its reputation. Current meta-analysis holds evidence that garlic reduces colon cancer. It also decreases the risk of non-cancerous growth. 
hear what science says on garlic and cancer. Eat one big clove of crushed raw garlic, and within hours, you get an alteration of the expression of your genes related to anti-cancer immunity. Uh, it's one thing to see a, a big boost in production of cancer-suppressing proteins, like oncostatin when you drip garlic directly on cells in a petri dish, but you also see boosted gene expression directly in your bloodstream within hours of eating it. Even Hippocrates approved garlic to be the best preventative medicine. He even advised his patients to eat it every day. Traditional medicine considers compounds like selenium, arginine, and aholine to have antiviral, antibacterial, and antiparasitic properties. They help to flush out the unwanted pathogens from your colon. So be generous with garlic in your burritos, noodles, tacos, dips, and bakes. Want to try some fruit? How about cucumbers? Wait a minute, do you think of cucumber as a vegetable? Surprisingly, it's a fruit. Cucumber adds a perfect punch of fiber and nutritional value to your food. Pectin, a particular type of fiber mainly found in cucumbers, can help you to have frequent bowel movements. The main component is water and it provides additional hydration. When your body is dehydrated, you have a tough time passing stool. Studies have also shown cucurbitacin B, a natural compound found in bitter melons and cucumbers, to inhibit the growth of colon cancer cells. Add fresh or pickled cucumbers to your salads and sandwiches and prevent several chronic colon diseases. Next, let's talk about some actual fruit. Do you love raspberries? Red raspberries play a minor role in killing stomach and cancer cells. But do you know what is even more effective? Black raspberries. They might look like blackberries, but are sweeter than them. These tiny berries have effectively killed colorectal cancer cells in animal models. Their deep purple color indicates their antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and neurodegenerative properties. You can add fresh or frozen raspberries to your leafy green salads or yogurt cups. They also add a deep, rich pop of color to your cheese platters. Mango is another fruit that can also positively affect your colon. Studies have shown eating mango for eight weeks could decrease symptoms of ulcerative colitis and several biomarkers related to colon cancer. Mango contains the perfect combination of polyphenols, vitamin A and C that can help you deal with constipation. Mangoes are fibrous fruits that can take care of things when you have to go. You can add chunks of ripe mango flesh to your smoothies, summer salads and salsas, or put them on the grill and enjoy them as sides. Next up, we have beans and legumes. Vegans particularly love these proteins. Soybean, peas, black beans, chickpeas, mung beans, and pinto beans encourage regular bowel movements. They contain soluble and insoluble types of fiber. The fiber-resistant starch present in these can also promote the growth of good bacteria in your gut. They are a rich source of folate, antioxidants, and phytochemicals like lignin and saponin that boost the overall immunity of your system for preventing cancer. What's more, studies have also shown that high vitamin B6 content helps to reduce colorectal cancer. By now, you must have realized that the whole vibe of keeping your colon healthy is to eat more plant-based food. But that doesn't mean you keep non-vegetarian foods off limits. There's always lean meat and oily fish that you can enjoy occasionally. Salmon, sardines, and mackerel are rich sources of omega-3 fatty acids. This nutrient is particularly of great importance for your heart. It also slows down aggressive cancers from spreading. Enjoy a grilled fish fillet instead of hamburgers, but have swordfish, tuna, tilefish, and king mackerel with caution. They may contain high mercury and pollutants that can harm your colon over time. Also, swapping your luncheon meat with 90% lean beef, skinless chicken, lean ground turkey, and wild game can make a huge difference. Start making your meatloaf with beef and pork loin cuts. Trust us, you'll have a smoother time in the bathroom. Constipation can be challenging. Almost 20% of the world's population suffers from it. If you two are struggling with this unspoken discomfort, then we're here to nudge you in the right direction. Check out 16 ways to make yourself poop better, or 13 foods that make you poop. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn how to improve food movement in your digestive system. Do you know any other colon-friendly foods? Let us know in the comments below.